Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I just thought I would pick up the camera because I have a busy day in store. I've actually booked the day off work, so it is Friday and it's a long bank holiday weekend, but I just wanted to book the extra day to get stuff done around this house because things are annoying me for the longest period of time and I just feel like no room in the house is complete and that like is kind of adding stress. Um, I'm that type of person that feels like they need a like um what is it like a clean space for a clean mind well tiny space tiny mind not clean mind <laughs> but um yeah i am actually in this jumper again just because it's really warm outside but it's also cloudy so i'm like what kind of outfit do i wear today plus i am having a bit of a hair crisis um, it needs washing and I just threw it up but I don't like it so please ignore that but yeah my plan for today is I need to get one room at least one room in the house finished well by finished I mean not furnished but I mean like painted skirt boards complete clean blank canvas basically so that we can start adding bits of furniture because everywhere around me there is skirt boards that need painting there are walls that need a second coat and when I'm only off for two days in a week, I don't know about anyone else, I hate doing stuff like that on my days off because I'm like, I've only got two days off a week and I don't want to spend them painting, so. So yeah, that is my plan for today. I need to, it's currently 20 past nine, so I'm up and I'm ready. I need to go do a food shop, so that is first of all on my list. And then I need to go to one of the DIY shops and get some paintbrushes. I have a good paintbrush that I like for cutting in, but I just feel like I need another paintbrush, you know, just to do like the windowsills. Um, so I'm going to grab another paintbrush, maybe a small roller and a large roller. Um, and I usually want to get them dust sheets, but I know they're quite expensive. So I'm like, will I get them? I don't know. Because the plastic ones, I just seem to get all tangled up in and the paint just goes all over them. And then it starts sticking together and it's, it's more stressful than it needs to be. <laughs> I'm actually in the mood to get this done because I feel like I've, like I said, I've been putting it off the longest time and finally getting around to getting it done. I just think it's going to make... The kitchen looks so much tidier so i do think i am going to start off with the kitchen because this area is like we haven't even painted around the window and um, over the plaster and stuff like that which is so bad but it's because we need to take the blinds down so that is probably what i'm going to do is when i get home is i'm going to clean the kitchen it's just stuff that needs the dishwasher needs emptying and i need to fill the dishwasher just to clear all the counters and um, and then i will start getting my well well, I also do need to get some sanding paper because parts of the walls need sanding slightly um, and just all that kind of stuff that you don't really want to be doing on a normal day. So yeah, that is my plan. I love how like, enthusiastic I'm being about this because I guarantee you when I get back I'm going to be like really not in the mood to do it but I've been telling myself for the longest time I have to do it. So I'm kind of like giving myself a schedule for today so like at what time I'm doing things. So. It's currently 20 past nine. I want to have left the house by half nine. I want to get to the DIY shop. I don't know which one I'm going to go to yet. I want to get, basically I want to be back here by, hmm, let's say half 10. It probably won't be half 10. Quarter to 11 probably. And then sit down, have something to eat, get the place tidy before I start and then hopefully start around 11. And I want to give myself a good three or four hours actually doing stuff just so I know that I have that time to get stuff done before Michael gets home from work. Not that it matters if he is home, but I just feel like I'm better at doing these things when I'm alone. I just kind of get on with it and I stop moaning and just get it done. So yeah, that is my plan for today. And I am kind of excited just to kind of see the results. Not excited to do the painting, but I have to start somewhere. I was going to bring you along with me in the car, but Michael has my tripod in his car, so I can't do that. But yeah, so what I'll do is I'll catch up with you in a little while because I need to get the dogs out to go for a wee. And sort their bed out, bring their bed out bread into the kitchen, and then I'll hit the road. So already I've got eight minutes on my schedule till I need to leave, and I'm already procrastinating and standing here talking. So yeah, I'm gonna actually go and I'll catch up with you when I get back and I'll show you what I picked up in the shop. Okay, so I'm back home now and it is let me just check what time it is because obviously I wanted to be back home for eleven. I've been home for about I'd say fifteen minutes and it's half eleven, so I suppose that's not the worst. I'm just gonna shut this door. Yeah, so I've literally just started trying to, trying to tidy up and clean because before I start painting, I can't have any dust or anything like that because it'll really drive me insane. So I'm like hoovering the floors, gonna clean all the counters down and make sure that all the appliances and stuff are put away just so I can, 
I don't know, just so it's like a fresh um, area to start working on. Okay, so I have started over here. So I've got the Henry out, which I find this is better for like a deep clean compared to the Dyson. I wanna get the chairs and put them up on top of the table and just so they're in the middle of the room and no paint goes on them. I need to move the crates out into the hallway, get rid of that little table and lamp. Um, tidy this mess that's currently going on. I've got some new dog food for the dogs because they're going to doggy daycare overnight tonight. So they're gonna have such a good time. Um, <laughs> oh, well, I hope they do, I'm kind of nervous. And then I just need to sort all this area out. Over here is not too bad. It's just over there by the sink and empty the dishwasher. So it sounds like it's a lot, but it does sound like it's a lot that I need to do. But I think once I start doing it, it'll only take about 20 minutes to get that done. And then I will get the stuff in from the car that I bought and I'll show you what I picked up and like what I plan on doing. I did kind of come up with a little plan in my head of what I want to do today and it is morning. It is mainly um, focusing on the kitchen because there's no point in me doing skirting boards in the kitchen, skirting boards in the hallway when I can get probably a paint, um, a lick of paint in the kitchen done, let that dry, do the skirting boards in here and then back and do another coat. I'm gonna try and do that anyway, um, but it just means as well that I can, if I focus on one room, I can move the other stuff into the other room while I'm doing it, if that makes sense. So yeah, that is my plan. There's a few holes that need filling as well and stuff like that, so I'm kind of dreading doing that, but. We just have to crack on, I suppose. Yeah, so I'm just gonna continue tidying up and getting the room organized before I start. I've tried to put away as much as I can, like off the counters and stuff like that, just to kind of give it more of a clear space. And you'll understand why when I show you what I'm gonna be doing, because I just need to get a clear space before I could do this. Right, so the kitchen, as you can see, I moved like the kettle and the toaster. There's just the coffee machine that I need to clean as well. So that's in the sink for afterwards. It's not really in the way, to be honest, so it should be fine. Um, and here's a little sneak peek at what I bought. I'll talk you through it in a second. But yeah, basically what I need to do is I need to sort out where this wall, there's like a little gap there. It's all, it's all like the plaster needs sanding down um, and smoothing out up here in the shelves. There's like little holes. You can see where we originally did, where we originally put the shelves. So yeah, that all needs sorting as well. Oh, there's a lot. Same over this side as well. You can see there, it's not like really smooth. Also this tiling, ignore that we were gonna go around with the tiling decided against it. So we need to figure out what we're doing there. Plus I need to clean the grout. So like I said, I feel like these things are really overwhelming when you look at it like on the whole, but if we just kind of break it down, that's what I'm trying to do, break it down into little like bits and bobs that I can get done each, well, I wanna get a lot done this weekend, but if I break it down slightly, just it makes it a little bit less overwhelming, so that is my plan. So yeah, I really need to do all that before I can paint the walls, which I do need another coat as well. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I picked up, just so you can kind of see and get an idea of what I'm doing. So I picked up, first of all, I found this, I was looking for like a roller set, and then I found this, which I actually thought was really good. Don't know if it's going to be any good or not because I find like stuff like this, which will make sense in a second, can kind of be a bit hit and miss. But basically, it's a 17 piece decorating kit and it was like the same price as just getting a tray with a roller. So I don't really have high hopes, so we'll see. So in this, you get like the three rollers paintbrush, what is that? A snap knife, window scraper, stirrer. That's good because I never have stirrer for paint. That's handy. Yes, yeah, so that's just like a little set I got. I did pick up another roller, what's it called? Sleeve, just in case, because I find sometimes with the other packs, it can be kind of like fluffy and I'm like, it's too fluffy. So and this is a short file one, which I think is a little bit easier to use. Sorry, my phone has gone off. Um, I got some lost head nails. These are good for skirting boards. So obviously we did the skirting boards before, but we have normal nails in them. So we need to get these nails to kind of make sure that it can go below the wood so then you can just fill in with a bit of wood filler and then they paint over nicely and you'd never know there was a nail there so i picked up some of those from michael wanted them i got a filling knife which now i'm thinking is there one in this set but anyway i needed a new filling knife and i got some poly filler just what i'm going to try and do on the walls oh i just realized i didn't get what i wanted i did forget something that i did i think i picked up i hope i didn't pay for that now i'm thinking about it no, maybe I didn't get it. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna do on the walls anyway. So that's like the first step. Of course, I needed some sandpaper. This is just multi. This is just a sorted pack of sandpaper. It's like all the different grains and stuff. I didn't really know which one I needed. I probably need a bit of a medium one and then a fine one, obviously, to get a nice finish. 
and then for the longest time i've been debating whether to do this or not but basically our window set our window ledges are in a satin wood and i just find that they're not wipeable and it really annoys me especially if there's like any dust or dirt or anything you want to like wipe it off with like a wet cloth or something and it just literally picks the paint off and i don't know why it does that but i've decided to get some gloss paint and i know people say gloss it's like hard to maintain it goes yellow but i got water based which is what they said to get if you want like a gloss that doesn't yellow so yeah i'm gonna put this on the two window sills in the kitchen i feel like the poly filler sand and then this will be the next job so obviously once i clear away the what do you call it the dust so yeah i'm gonna start cracking on in a minute i do need to get changed into like my painting clothes does anyone else have painting clothes um i'm kind of hoping that i still do because i did throw some out thinking oh whatever like i'm not even bothered about painting but yeah that's my next step now is to find something to put on whilst painting i'll probably stay in these leggings because they're only the pens leggings and i'm gonna go now and find a jumper that i won't want to wear ever again because i'm more than likely gonna get destroyed Okay, so a few days have now passed and it is a Monday, no, it's Tuesday morning after the bank holiday and I just wanted to like have a little catch up as to where I went because basically I did what I wanted to do around the kitchen and then I got so sidetracked, I had so much on that I kind of just forgot to. We were dropping the dogs into daycare so we had to get them all organised for that. That went really well so I feel a little bit more comfortable with leaving them now for a bit longer. They have only actually stayed there in a total of two nights like one night each time so i am hoping that i know it's a big stretch going from like one day to like a week but i'm just hoping that they're gonna be fine and um, to be honest they don't really have a choice now the kitchen is looking good in terms of like painting and obviously there is a lot that i still need to do but i'm happy with the little areas that i focused on the other day and um, it just needs like a quick tidy and i don't really have time to do that now because it currently is 10 to 8 sorry 10 to 9 and i start work at 9 from home and um, yeah so i just wanted to catch up on where i'm at we went also to do a little bit of holiday shopping so we went on saturday yeah the dogs were in the kennels on friday and then we went shopping on saturday so on saturday um we went to zara and i went to primark h&m i had a look everywhere really and i'll show you on my lunch break probably what i picked up because i did get some really nice things i didn't get a lot but just some things i can make outfits out of and yeah it's just kind of like all holiday prep now so i'm going to do some separate videos on that like i'm going to do like a pack with me video i'm going to do like organize my holiday clothes outfits summer outfits all that kind of stuff because i feel like everything in my wardrobe when i'm looking now is very winter based i kind of need to do that little transition where you take your coats out and you put your winter no sorry your, your spring summer stuff in so yeah i do feel though like i have no clothes because i did throw a lot away <laughs> at the end of last summer and i'm like now I'm like why did i do that because i always do this and then regret it but it's done anyway um a little update on my hair as well like i feel like it is getting longer but it's just still really thin which is so sad but i think once i keep it growing just for the summer and then i'll get it cut afterwards i'm hoping if it's even down to here i'll just get it back up to here Um, i don't really want to go any shorter than this i can definitely feel to about where would it be here is where it pins out massively but i'm not really feeling a bob right now so yeah um just a little hair update the products i've been using are for like thinning hair which i find they are working but maybe it's just majority of it is obviously working on the scalp there's nothing really you can do for the ends other than get them cut i don't think but um even like around here i feel like these little hairs i don't know if you can actually see that like i don't know whether they were like baby hairs i know i did have baby hairs but i feel like they're a little bit thicker like there'd usually just be a few um 
and this part here of my hair as well this side always was quite fine compared to the other side but if i just take it i kind of feel like they're evening out a little bit as well which is good but yeah that's just a little hair update i'm gonna go now because i really need to get ready and get organized get the laptop open and stuff like that i'm not looking forward to like day back after a four day weekend but we're on the home stretch now for a break a full breakaway and i can't wait for that so i feel like that's the only thing that's keeping me going but yeah like i said i will catch up with you on my lunch break and i will show you what i got in zara okay so i'm on my lunch now and i thought i would show you quickly what i picked up in zara also ignore the fact that I've noticed the light is obviously coming in on this side of my face so I look a lot lighter and I look a lot more orange on this side. I feel like I look orange anyway because I use the spray mist face down and I don't know how I feel about it. Like I just feel like it is quite, it's quite orange. Um, I did put a dove, old school dove on my arms. I just feel like I need to do another layer of that and it might be okay. But yeah, bear in mind, I'm not wearing makeup as well, so that's probably why I'm looking a little bit more orange. If I had my foundation on or whatever, it kind of balanced out. But anyway, enough of me talking about that. Let me show you what I picked up. I have a little mix of Zara and Primark in here just because I shoved it all into the one bag. So there's a few bits in here. I don't know how it actually fits in this bag, but yeah, I'm just going to always show you what I got. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Zara first because I feel like I'm more excited about these items. Um, they're probably just so basic to everyone else, but I just really like them. First thing I picked up was this little purple... <laughs> My toast just popped up. Yes, the first thing I picked up was this little kind of like... I wouldn't say it's cropped. It is like a longer crop, which I prefer because I can kind of like tuck it in or whatever. And uh, It's a, quite a thick material, which I do like because I just find it's a little bit more flattering on like my body shape and yeah it's just like a little racer one and it's a really nice gorgeous purple colour I kind of was like thinking do I like colour as much this year but then I went in the shop and I can confirm I love colour I just can't I told myself I need to get stuff that kind of you can mix and match like all that kind of stuff and I'm like no colour is just my thing I just like colour and I don't think I ever will stop so I need to stop pretending that I don't like colour and I got that in a large and it was 12 95 which I'm kind of wishing I got a few more of these I think I might actually order a couple of different colours as well like probably more of like a white and a black just so I can like mix and match again another colourful item that I picked up from Zara it's just this little t-shirt with a little frill details i just kind of envisioned this for when we're going around exploring put this on with a pair of jeans a pair of white runners and that's like an outfit ready to go just like a quick and easy thrown together outfit and it has like a nice pop of color again this was 7.95 i had one of these before in like a kind of pale gray color and i really liked it the only thing is that they're a pain you need to iron them and on the cruise we don't actually have an iron so that should be fun if anyone has any tips of how to pack things and stop creases i would really appreciate that because i have not got a clue i'm gonna try and speed this up as well because my battery is flashing at me shock okay then i picked up this top from zara as well and it's like a what do you call it like a i would call this like a boob tube like how 90s am i but yeah it's got like this ruching detail on it and it kind of has like a little bit that kind of overlaps just to give a little bit more extra coverage and i just thought again these were shorts these are like long um denim jeans this would just be like a nice top that you could just wear and you can like dress it up depending on your jewelry and stuff like that and it actually kind of was quite flat sorry my battery went so i had to go and charge it i hope the angle is the same i think i need to fix it slightly maybe oh Jesus. that should be okay hopefully but yeah this top here i really like it i just find it's really flattering like with the ruching especially down the side i just kind of feel like for someone that is kind of i don't know i feel like if you have a bigger bust area that like these kind of tops are a little bit more flattering they kind of make them look less big like i don't know if many people want them to look less big but i do <laughs> it's just something that i'm conscious of so yeah i like these kind of tops because yeah they're not low cut and they just go really nice with everything so it's a good one to have again the toaster popped up so ignore that that was a bit, little bit more expensive i think that was around the 15 to 20 euro i can't remember hasn't got it on the tag for some reason and i got that in a large probably could have got it in a smaller size but i'm sick of, wear, of buying clothes that are like too small just for the sake of it being a size so i got something that's like slightly a little bit bigger that's not bit onto me which i think i just feel more comfortable in i then just picked up some random shorts from pennies just because well primark if you're in england or wherever in the world and um, i just thought i'd get some more shorts just because they're on the cheap and it's just these like mom style shorts 
Um, I got these in a 14 again. I don't like stuff like clinging onto me. These are a little bit big, but I feel like with a belt, it can make them a little bit more like fit. Um, I just was conscious of the stomach area being too tight. And then any tops you want to tuck in, it kind of makes it have like a ripple effect. I really don't like that. But yeah, these are a little bit big, but I will get the wear out of them. And I think these were only, I know the tag fell off them. They're only about eight euros, so you can't really go wrong. And I do have another pair from Pays from last year in a light wash blue, but I do prefer the fit of those. These aren't as nice. These aren't as like loose mom jeans style, but again, I'll get the wear out of those just for like the days when we're off exploring off the boat. And then the last thing I picked up was a little swimming costume because I needed something for those days if we are by the pool and I don't really like tan lines and I don't want to get my stomach out either and it's just this one here so again as you know with my videos I love ruching everything I get is ruched and I love this paisley print I just think it's gorgeous the different blues it's very like sea inspired as well so yeah I absolutely love this the only thing is I feel like I might go get a bigger size in it just because it is quite tight and you know when you're like trying to get your swimming costume on and off and if it's wet like it's really hard to get, to get it on and off so yeah, I might just get a bigger size. Well, I can give it a go and see if it would be any better for me. But yeah, that was only, how much was this one? 14 euro, which you can't complain really. Like hopefully I get good wear out of this as well. And I bring it on my other holiday too. And I just love, like I said, the print. But yeah, I'm gonna go now and have my lunch because I'm conscious of the time. I need to be back and it's quite busy. Um, but yeah, I only get an hour's lunch only, as if that's a bad thing quite a long time um but yeah i've just got stuff to do around the house so i will catch up with you late this evening when i have finished work so it is actually a wednesday evening now and i've just came upstairs put my dressing gown on because i feel like it's at that point now where i can't put the heating on but i'm still really cold i don't know whether i said this previously but yeah i am cold so i just put my dressing gown on but i need to get a shower and wash my hair i'm at this point now with my hair that i feel like it's just it's really dry at the ends, but it gets really greasy very quickly. So I'm just trying to find it hard, finding it kind of hard to get that balance in terms of like, obviously wanting to hydrate my hair, make sure that it's nice and conditioned if it's in bad condition, um, and obviously not get to go greasy and to get a lot as long as I can out of it. So I'm just struggling at the moment with what products to use. I know I mentioned previously that I use the Nioxin for thinning hair, but that is quite drying actually on my hair um to be honest so i don't really know what i'm gonna do next i've heard great things about a new l'oreal one so i need to have a look into that and see if that's something that i want to give a go because i've seen it on offer as well so maybe now is the right time to try it out but that being said i just want to focus on getting my hair in good condition and maybe not trying too many products and letting things actually start to work so yeah i'm not too sure as always if you do have any recommendations on hair care products or anything like that please let me know because i'm really bad at knowing like what is good good for your hair especially my hair because it's like naturally frizzy and um, it's like got a small a slight curl to it but it goes frizzy if i don't obviously put products on for the curls and i don't like it curly so yeah i do a lot of obviously um heat styling with it which i know is really bad if you're trying to like help your hair but i just can't help it because i really don't like how it is without so yeah i'm gonna get a shower anyway but i just thought i'd come on and have like a little catch up because why not i'm not really doing anything else for the evening we've already had our dinner so that's that out of the way the dogs we're not going to bring the dogs out tonight just because they've been out in the garden and they're tired like i don't know what's wrong with them. like obviously a walk would be good for them but i'm thinking i'm going to bring them in the morning instead um but yeah they have hugo has his kong so he's just got that and rico has his lick mat and um, we also play this game with them as well which is so funny i wish i kind of had the camera out to record it so it's like a little guessing game so you put their treats in this little tray i'll show you another time and then they have to guess where they are but rico just wasn't good at it at all so it was hilarious and then hugo, hugo was afraid so it went down well um but yeah i just thought i would come on have a little catch up i don't really have any other news really going on with me at the moment other than like holiday prep and stuff like that so i think i'll do a separate video on like holiday prep because i need to get my eyebrows done like my eyebrows do not zoom in on this video because they are atrocious like i've been putting off the longest time getting my eyebrows sorted um nails this nail 
came off and then these ones are like this is my nail progress i feel like these videos are turning into like if i show you my little hand maybe little nail progress videos focus oh there we go is it focused it's really hard to tell um but yeah they're grown and i'm so happy that they're growing because i'm no longer a nail biter so i just need to keep it up and keep putting new polish on this is a gel polish and um, just keep putting that on to stop me biting my nails and hopefully i'll have really nice long nails i do want to order a few more bits and bobs as well for my nails i need to order some new files i want to order a new french color so like the pink color and then i already have the white because i feel like that is the kind of vibe i'm going for for holiday nails is a nice clean french manicure and then it goes with all my outfits so that is the plan anyway but yeah i'm gonna go get a quick shower anyway and i shall probably just catch up with you when i'm at the shower and i feel a little bit more fresh okay so i'm actually out of the shower now and i'm just gonna close off this vlog because there's nothing really else going on i'm just in my pajamas getting into bed i'm after drying my hair and it actually feels really soft after using different products so yeah like i said it is really damaged so trying to work on that my face seems less orange and i've also done like a side parting for the first time in ages so i'm kind of hoping that that looks okay in the morning just to try and make the hair the front of the hair look a bit fuller so it did when i dried it so obviously i've tied it up now just to prevent it getting damaged or whatever when i'm asleep um but yeah i'm gonna end the video here hope you enjoyed if you did please give it a like it really helps out my videos and subscribe if you're new i'd love to have you stick around and i shall See you in my next one. Thanks for watching.